do know that those uh, Malibus will go 100. <laughs> I never did break the law. Every time I saw a speed limit said 70, I'd slow down until I passed that one, then I'd go on back. <laughs> That's pretty much what they're for anyway. One time a man introduced me to a big conference and they said, This is Brother Poe, and you'll either love him or hate him. Boy, they've given all these nice introductions to everybody else. You know, I heard one introduction that was so poetic, I thought, you know, he had to get that out of the book. And uh, talking about the, 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 the wind that had uh, filled the sails of this man's mind. And, and then I was like, boy, that sounds good. And then I preach, and they say, you either love him or hate him. Right. So I got up, and I said, well, thank you for dividing the crowd and splitting it in half, uh, even before I get started. <laughs> so, well, so I'm only 31, so. <laughs> I had a birthday the other day, and I celebrated my 42nd birthday. And uh, some friends of mine said, what do you mean you're celebrating your 42nd birthday? You're over at 42. And I said, no, yeah, I'm, I know I'm older, but I'm still celebrating 42. I, I, I know I'm older than 42, but I'm celebrating 42. Don't put, you, you can cause a fire with them kind of candles. I like it nowadays, though, because you don't have to have a bunch of candles. You just have the numbers. So it's just two little candles, especially the older you get, harder it is to get air. Now that song, Take Me Back, Take Me Back, just went through my mind. Is that a Christian song? Right. It is? Good. And, <laughs> and, uh, I wasn't sure it for me. <laughs> the other night I was singing and man, I was preaching along and I was having such a good time and I said, my God, I think I just want to sing. And the musicians ran up and I started singing, Jesus is just all right with me. <laughs> that was a gospel song and the preacher was screaming, the Doobie Brothers, the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> and the fish will come up and bite the hook and the hook's got in his mouth and then he opens up the fish and there's money in it. You don't have to have a job. He already knows where the money is. He can feed you. He can raise you up. He can, if you're sick, he can heal you. If you accidentally die, he can raise Who wouldn't follow a man like that? Right. Come on now. Come right. Amen. I mean, right. Hello. Amen. Come on. And so they're following this Jesus. Right. Women are strange creatures. You got to have one, but they're strange. Yeah, they. Yeah. And I, I know all the men right now. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just staring at it right above my head. Like, oh Jesus, he was preaching that way to mess up. Because women in our our day, our day, you know, you you, you got to be careful, guys. You, you know, you can't hardly hug one another no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> You don't have them out here? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Remember that thing? I made a show of a cowboy that morning. That's the last remaining frontier of the cowboys. Right. And uh, tomorrow they'll be going, what was he talking about? And he was saying they was one of them, Lee Wolf. And, uh, but, but now, you know, preacher, I mean, in the, in the church, you used to just walk up and shake any... I mean, men just walk up and shake, hey, brother, how you doing? How you doing? And now even men are like, how you doing, brother? Fine, how are you? It's long distance. <laughs> and you know, sometimes, even on a man, the worst feeling a man can have is to feel relaxed enough to hug somebody else's neck and then bolt your head to go to the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you choose first. <laughs> I, I've done it a bunch, you know, you just grab, hey, bro, oh, 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 oh. You get all messed up right there. You can throw it back out. <laughs> but ladies, I, I've noticed ladies can still do it. In fact, the other day when I was preaching, uh, I was preaching at a ladies' conference, 
And, and I was just amazed at the ladies that would just grab hold of each other's hand. And, and a lot of them were kissing on each cheek, you know, like that, like Jews or something. And, and I was like, well, that's nice. You know, they can still do all that and, and not feel good. <laughs> Men can't do that. And I know the Bible says greet your brother with a holy kiss, but I'm just going to ask you to keep it till we get to heaven. <laughs> 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 Or you just go down to Walmart and buy some Hershey kisses, pray on them, and give them to me, and I'll count that. And, uh, but ladies, I've just never been one to, that would just go to the graveyard. You know, I see people, they go to the graveyard, and, and that's their business. They won't put flowers down. I'm like, well, the dude down there ain't looking at them. Well, those are some nice flowers, honey. Glad you left them. You <laughs> got a clue, man. <laughs> You know what I'm and that dude next to him ain't going, yeah, man, I've been buying a month. So I should have met that other dude, you know. So, I mean, that, that, that's just nothing. I, 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 don't, I just don't go graveyard much. And it's not that I believe in ghosts. Don't get me wrong, but I ain't taking no chance just in case it is right. <laughs> I remember one year, right after I got the Holy Ghost, said, when you're a drug dealer, you're jumping. Yeah, I mean, even nowadays, I don't like going to restaurants. Uh, back to uh, it has to be the wall, and I scan the crowd. It's just a habit. And I know what some of those Pentecostals. Well, you need to let the Lord be on your side and pray that out of you. Well, I mean, I was at a, a, a preacher's minister's banquet. And my back was, and they taught me. Just go ahead and sit here. They taught me into it. Sit right here. Your name's right there. Sit right with my back. Sit right here. Okay. And of all the things, the waitress comes up and spills a big tray. She's got a big tray up here like it, And somehow it tilted over and all of that glass and all that stuff. Now this hadn't happened too long ago, y'all. And it hit. And before I could even think, I had ducked down, spun around and grabbed my chair and was done like this right at her. And one of the other guys says, do you think he's really got the Holy Ghost? <laughs> I was so embarrassed my heart and my chair. I'm like, how you doing, sister? <laughs> <laughs> Brother Macy said, oh, I ain't never done you move that fast. He said, do you have the Holy Ghost? I said, I do, but I don't know if she does. <laughs> <laughs> time they were out there, youth groups out there, and we were having fun, and it was on Halloween, and, and uh, you know, I don't believe in trick-or-treating and all that stuff, dressing up like witches and goblins and all that. So we go out and we do some youth group, and we was out in this field, and, I, and everybody knew how jumpy I was. So we're taking a hay ride. And, and my feet are off the side. And, and I'm talking to the kids, though, because I'm scared of them. You know, it's like, dude, man, we don't know what's in these woods. I mean, how, how, how many of you have ever been in these woods before? And all the kids are like, no. no. Well, how do you know that there's nothing in these woods then? There could be something in these woods. Well, how do you know there's not a, such a thing as a werewolf? Has any of you ever seen one? No, then you don't know if there's one or not. I do all that kind of stuff. Has anybody ever been bitten by a vampire? No. I didn't know there's not one then. You know, and so these kids, their eyes, man, they're big. And so this was all set up. And, 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 and we stopped at a certain place. And I just got all those young people, their eyes like this. And said, Everybody look out in the dark. Your eyes have got to be big. And about that time, they had stopped on purpose. There was a bunch of leaves under my feet, and I didn't know it. And about three of those young people had hidden under those leaves. And they just come up out of those leaves screaming, Oh, I kicked three young men in the roundhouse. <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> 